this uh, repatriation in like the situation there for Germany or that I wasn't that familiar with. with I'm familiar, for instance, with the registration in Sweden for Roma children, which is against the law, and it, there has been a lot of debate um, and this constant uh, discrimination, uh, making the group invisible or extra visible, but in a, in a oppressing way. Um, this initiative to to be in charge of what what uh, visions that uh, visuals that can, comes out, or this sort of uh, taking the power over the over the tools, really inspires me. Because if someone uh, if if you don't tell your own story, someone else will do, and there is that that could be fine sometimes. Of course, other can we can tell each other stories also, but there is of course a, a risk that. I will just tell my story instead, <laughs> what I see, instead of actually um, maybe. But I think it, it is possible to learn how to to listen. I work with with um, in, in a feminist institution, and that has been a, a very important thing for us to be in charge of uh, our lives. The the pictures that is the stories that come out uh, has been a very important. Thing in, in the feminist movement. Uh, of course, sometimes rights can sort of be given, but I'm, uh, sometimes when it's given, it's given within a certain frame. Okay, you can have the right to say, but not exactly what you want. You can say it within a certain frame. You get money for this, but not for that. Or you, you know, so you can use that space. In, in a you know strategic way, but you should never allow yourself to um, get satisfied with that space. I think you should always have the other thing going, uh, because that's my experience that uh, rights that are given can be taken away just like that. So, so like this is a new uh, like angle for me because I've heard about this Dublin. And yeah, but I because I'm working in the asylum rights movement, um, but I didn't know that it affected Roma people in that way. I didn't know in it in this way that you have like can be uh, living in a country for that many years and then like just torn up. So I think this is like a thing that uh, the asylum movement need to work more with, to like, activists have to support each other in our work, like when minorities, it doesn't matter what kind, I think if it's homosexual or like Roma people. And the first movie was very um, moving, um, I don't know what to say, it's actually just also uh, facts coming to me, I didn't didn't know that situation um, as much, so uh, I learned a lot from the movie. I recently met uh, Dr. Hamling in Addis Ababa two weeks ago. She is 90 years old and she has struggled for, for uh, women uh, that are very uh, ill, Ill to, to, to labor. And she said, go on, and I will say the same. Go on and go on and go on, never stop. Mm -hmm.